world champion, makes his mandatory defence against Luis Alberto Lopez. A world championship doubleheader, all Australian female fight on the card as well. Tremendous fight, again, for the world title with Ebony Bridges against Shannon O'Connell. So much more to come. And of course, importantly as well, this is a night with a difference. Not only is it the elite atmosphere of the Leeds faithful, but it's England v France. Kicking off around 2 p.m. in the arena on Before the Bell, on the design platform, on across socials around the world. 7 p.m. we break for England against France. And then 9 p.m. we kickstart again with Felix Cash, Ebony Bridges and Josh Warrington. This is going to be a wild day of sporting drama. We cannot wait. So many championship fights to talk about on the top table, but also beneath us here, some young fighters looking to make their way, make their name, some looking to put themselves back into world championship contention as well. We're going to start with two local Leeds lads, Corey O'Regan and Kobe McNamara. Welcome, boys. Both sold a huge amount of tickets, Kobe, especially you. This is what it's all about for the young Leeds talent, getting a chance. Through Josh Warrington, atmosphere going to be unbelievable and looking forward to a big night for you on Saturday. Yeah, yeah, can't wait for it. I've done over 500 tickets for that um, Saturday. Yeah. yeah, so I'm looking forward to putting up the phone, so yeah, can't wait. Corey, as well, for you, same. I know that you know, a number of fights now looking to move into championship contention in 2023, but Josh Warrington paving the way for young fighters from Leeds and Yorkshire as well, and another big night for you on Saturday. Yeah, definitely. It's like um, I was watching be on in March as well. Oh, when Josh and his little heart back together, I mean that the experience is just like what you're imagining. It's the best, the best stage to be on. So I'm just proud to be part of it again. I'm looking forward to another good, good performance as well. Thank you, Kobe and Corey. Good luck on Saturday. Another lead fighter that is further down the line. I think. Already one of the top prospects, not just in British boxing, but in world boxing, Hopi Price. Hopi, welcome. Your last eight rounder on Saturday. And a good fight as well. Always a great opportunity for you to fight in Leeds. I remember your performance at Headingley. It's a great atmosphere there. And the final box to tick on Saturday before you move to championship fights in 2023. Yeah, you know, the final box to tick before um, the big 2023. You know, I'm doing this in the last eight rounder. And um, yeah, I'm not mistaken. Same performance I'm looking to put on on a Saturday night, and then uh, I'm coming for all the titles in the Super Bank Division in 2023. You know, uh, I wanted to be boxing for a title this time, but obviously, we get a bit of inactivity or whatever else, so um, get this one out of the way, and then 2023, I'm definitely coming for the belt. Yeah, I remember when you started with Dave Colbert, it was a situation of, of giving yourself an opportunity to, to learn the sport, but you feel like you've done that now, boxed on some big cards, had a little bit of Bad uh, luck with a couple of illnesses and injuries as well, but ready to go full throttle. Win on Saturday, and then you believe you're the best super fans in, in Britain already. Yeah, definitely, you know, um, get this one out of the way, and then definitely, uh, I think I'm the best super fans in Britain, 100%, and I believe. Josh will take away for us in Leeds, and um, like you say, when he goes, who's left? And I believe it's me, I believe I'm the next one to follow boxing in the city and carry the flag for us. I can't wait to see you in action on Saturday night, as this man, Janae Boston, <laughs> Fastly moving again as one of the top, most exciting young prospects in British boxing as well. Of course, big shout out to your trainer, Brian Smith. I believe it's his birthday today as well. Um, Keeping nice and active, Janae, as well. Obviously, boxed on a Sheffield, so caught everybody's attention there. Boxed in Nottingham and now finishing the year in Leeds. Been part of some big cards since joining up the match. Yeah, I'm delighted to be back finishing the year. My high, my fourth last year. Wow, I loved it on Saturday. And I did, I liked to get a sausage. So it's quite a four. I'd be happy days with that. So yeah, we'll work on Saturday and I'm there. It's got the clinical background with performance. Obviously, seeing you getting some great sparring as well. You're learning in the gym as well as on the big stage as well. What does 2023 in the mind of, of Janae Boston look like? Yeah, man, as much as I'm, I'm learning in the ring professionally, I'm learning in the camp what it's like to inspire the likes of Nessie, Troy Williamson, the few ones we've had, Mark, Louis. Just learning as we go, and obviously, I'm delighted. I'm only 20 years of age, and without we'll being to swear myself in the gym and in the ring, I think they're definitely the best, if not the best, possibly the one alone. Well, I think uh, so many great prospects, and you are one of them, my friend. Two of those in front of me now, you know, Boston and Hope and Price, very excited for their future, particularly a huge 2023. Two female fights on before the bell. Start with Rhiannon Dixon. Rhiannon, welcome. Nice and active for you as well, finally. I mean, it's been a, a long time coming. 
again, some inactivity for you, but now on a good run. You've got a good domestic fight on Saturday night, a tough fight, step up. Talking to Anthony Crowley, a trainer, about it earlier. And these are the kind of fights you can start to get excited about. Yeah, definitely. You know, I'm just trying to get as much experience as I can in the ring. And I'm sure you're looking forward to playing the defense on Sunday. When we talk about the types of action for, for some of these fighters, you're right up there for 2023 as well. Commonwealth title and so forth. Must be part of those plans. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, like I said, just getting experience. And I'm surely enjoying really, uh, keeping active, obviously, at the injury at the start this year. Um, so I was very active. Well, I'm just looking forward to seeing you back on Saturday. As we do, Shannon Courtney. Shannon, welcome. Talk about inactivity. It's been a long time. Liverpool seems like a, a lifetime ago against Jamie Mitchell. I know it's been very frustrating. You've mixed a little bit of celebrity SAS win with that as well. I know that was a fun experience, but back to doing what you love, back to fighting on Saturday night and back to putting your name in World Championship contention. Yeah, obviously I've had a year out due to having quite a big injury, two operations. At one point I was told I'd never box again, so to be back back on the big stage straight away, um, I'm buzzing back back home to be honest. Obviously there's so much happening in the bantamweight division. You have your own fight to take care of on Saturday night. Gemma Rick, who's all action, will come and give it everything again. She has everything to gain on Saturday night, but you can't take your eye off the ball in the division. A, a huge win. For Nina Hughes out in Dubai beating Jamie Mitchell, who obviously beat you in Liverpool, and of course the big co main event this weekend. Get through on Saturday night, and it, it could well be the winner of Saturday or, or Nina Hughes next. 100%. Um, I'm not going to be ignorant and talk about world titles just yet because I've got to get through Saturday. Jamie Rick's a good fighter, but I know for a fact 2023 is going to be a very big year for me, and um, yeah, I'm going to keep myself to myself, but let's just get Saturday out of the way. Well, you keep yourself to yourself, but we'll also get the victory, watch the England game, and then take your seat to watch a fantastic co-main event between Ebony Bridges, who you had a tremendous fight for, for the world title, and Shannon O'Connor as well. Can't help but remember this kind of rivalry, that similar to you had with Ebony as well. I want your opinion on that fight, please, and I want to know who you want to win that fight. Thank no you splinters. Be... What's that? No splinters. Oh, you can talk. <laughs> oh, I sat on the fence. Um, so, I think it's going to be an explosive fight. The styles will gel, just like me and Ebony did. I think it'll be very explosive from start to finish. I don't mind who wins. Listen, of course, I would like to have down the line, if I was in, in an ideal world, I get my WBA world title back. Ebony has her world title, and then we, we unify again in a massive fight. Big payday for both of us. Massive. The first fight was a huge fight, and the second one will be even bigger. So, but let's just see what Saturday brings to us. Well, good luck. It's great to see you back on Saturday night. Tremendous atmosphere. In Leeds, we go through to our first championship fight of the card. An interesting one between JJ Metcalf and Courtney Pennington. Courtney, we'll start with you. Welcome over from Brooklyn. Um, come with, with fantastic pedigree as well and a great reputation. This is a big opportunity for you. You're going to love this atmosphere. It is wild. You've never seen anything like you're going to see on Saturday night. JJ Metcalf coming off a great victory in Spain as well recently. This is a huge opportunity for your career. Absolutely. Um, number one, I want, to I want to thank you for inviting me here. Um, the Zone Boxing Matchroom and, and especially JJ for taking this fight because he didn't have to. Um, thank you to my team for, for getting me here. But uh, trust me, I got it from here. I plan on taking this show over. All right, this fight is gonna be like a main event with just one and Lopez as, as my undercard. But um, uh, I'm, I'm gonna show you guys that I'm not going home without without that strength. Okay, thanks again. A risky fight for JJ Metcalf because you could do come here without a lot of knowledge from from the UK fans. What should they expect from Courtney Pennington on Saturday night? We know you come well regarded from the US, but. Right. What are you going to bring to Leeds on Saturday? You know, they have no idea uh, because I, I'm, I'm one of the best junior, junior middleweights in the world. I will show that come Saturday night. They don't know that yet, but we got two days, guys. Let's go, champ. JJ, that's what we want, isn't it? You know, I mean, you want these, these tough fights. I mean, if it weren't a tough fight, it wouldn't be JJ Metcalf. No. Uh, we've seen so many tremendous fights with you, obviously. Unlucky against Kieran Conway, fight the year against Ted Cheeseman. Unbelievable performance in Bilbao to beat Kermit Laharaja and another tough fight for you on Saturday night. Yeah, no, I'm not a woman, I'm not at all. And 
How important is this victory for you? Because you've had those defeats, you've come back, you've got that massive win in Spain, you're well ranked now in the world uh, WBA division and other divisions as well. You can't afford to let this momentum sit now. Good victory for you on Saturday. We put you in line for potentially a world title shot in 2023. Definitely, yeah. You know, I'm not taking my eye off the ball, I'm not going to overlook them either. So I took the fight very seriously and we don't think we Everything that's been asked of me has done, so I'm just looking forward to playing with it. So with JJ Metcalf against Courtney Pennington, over the international light middleweight title, we go to a young man who, again, has been inactive and sometimes his fault, sometimes the fault of the boxing gods, but it's been a, a very frustrating period for what I believe is one of the best middleweights in the world. And, and to talk about the performance that he gave us against De Denzel Bentley, destroying him in a couple of rounds, and great performance that Denzel Bentley gave against Janibek. I think Felix Cash is unquestionably an elite middleweight that's ready to go on and challenge for the world title in 2023. Felix, firstly, welcome back. We've still got a couple of days to go, so we keep going cross our fingers. But eight rounds for you on Saturday night, chance to get rid of the cobwebs and move forward for a massive 2023. Yeah, like I say, I've just um, been a long time coming, so that's all good. <laughs> Saturday night actually happens this time, but yeah. Uh, so I'm going there um, on Saturday to get the ring messed off and then, uh, like you said, I'm going to have some big fights in 2023 and uh, come out to the one time. How difficult has it been for you mentally? I mean, I remember you were sick on the, the first opportunity that, that uh, had to pass you by. The Eubank Ben card got cancelled. I was worried, you know, after that card, it's like, how much can one man take? It was difficult for you to stay in the gym. Obviously, great man in Tony seems around you to keep you focused, but it's been a tough period. Yeah, it was tough to be honest with you. One stage I was like, fuck this, but um, <laughs> um, uh, you know, I was with, you know, just heading to the gym, step focused, and uh, like I said, we got before the end of the year, and uh, we'll make up for the last time uh, next year and get some big fights. But I'm um, obviously I've got a job to do on Saturday night, get this uh, nerves out of the way, and uh, then we'll, uh, we'll get some big fights. Obviously, I know mandatory for the European title is a great belt to win. There is a, an aging challenge champion there, but obviously moving towards the world rankings in the fight potentially with Amo Williams. I know you don't know too much about him. He's very outspoken. He's on a plane right now. He's going to be in your face in the ring after the fight. But that's okay. what be careful that close against me. Then. <laughs> we will do. You'll get close. But they're the kind of fights we want to see. You know, two very talented young middleweights who are top ten in the world looking to, to get a shot at the world title and willing to go for each other. Like you say, you've got the European title, I think that's one first minute in December, but to be honest with you, we're, you know, we're getting nerves out of the way, um, and then, like you say, I'm a William once in, um, he's got a big mouth, so I'll let him, I'll happily shut him up for him, shut him up, shut up for him, so, um, listen, I'm just looking forward, looking forward, I'm looking forward to Saturday night, get him out, get him out of the way, and then Sunday we'll, uh, we'll have a chat again, and then um, we'll sort out, we'll um, sort out one point next. Well, good to see you back, mate, we look forward to a great performance on Saturday and appearance of Amar Williams on broadcast and probably in the ring after as well. We go to the co-main event. I mean, we talk about women's boxing. This is one of the biggest female fights of the year. Of course, it's the biggest all-Australian female fight of all time. And if it wasn't for Ebony Bridges being so popular here and being located here, it would have taken place in Australia. We won the first bids, and this time the IBF Bantamweight World Championship between the champion Ebony Bridges and mandatory challenger Shannon O'Connell. Shannon, I'll start with you. Welcome. It's been a long time coming. Shout out to, to your team, no limit guys, and Matt and George Rose, who we'll see this weekend. Um, your opportunity, you've been grinding for a long time for this, is finally here, just a couple of days away, challenging for the world title events. Yeah, absolutely. I'm just, um, to be honest, I'm, I'm really happy that we're finally here. It's, it's been a long time coming, um, a lot of dodging and, and trying to get around the bike, but we're here now and there's, there's no hiding. I mean, the build-up's been great for both of you, really not into the words as well. Um, it seems to be hotting up the closer that we get. There was always a feel that that might stop as we reach the fight, but you're really going full throttle, really. You're, you're standing by your words, and, and you're ready to go to work on Saturday. Absolutely, I don't have to take bone in my body, so everything I've said, I've meant. And one of the things you did say, I just had to pull this out because I don't know. You said, she's not a skanky stripper, she's a skanky wannabe stripper. She is skank, that's for sure, but I've seen strippers that look nicer than her. I mean, this is serious, serious level for this stuff. 
I, I wanted just to, to bring those words to your attention. And, and it, this is this is for real, this Bible. The remarkable thing is you've never met no. before this Bible. <laughs> No, but I mean, do you like every, every, everyone that you see on TV, do you like them? You, you don't have to like everyone that you've met. She's making herself a public figure and she's putting herself out there to be judged. That's yeah. just what happens. And your feeling is, is the way that she's done things to get to her position is not the way that you would have done things or, or have done previously. Absolutely. I don't, I don't, I just, I'm morals. <laughs> and finally, the fight itself, which, taking the chat away, this is going to be a tremendous fight. Neither of you take a step back because I think it's going to be an absolute war. You believe you've got everything that it takes to beat Emily Bridges on Saturday night, the front foot, the back foot. You can out tougher, you can out punch her, you can do everything you can, and you will become world champion on Saturday. 100%. I've got everything it takes. It literally, she's got nothing over me. Evelyn, welcome. Um, it's been some remarkable things said backwards and forwards. I know you're no stranger to those as well. Um, you, you've tried to keep it cool as well. It must be quite difficult when certain things are said to stay cool. I know you've got a job to do on Saturday night, but some, some choice words, certainly. Yeah, look, I was brought up sticks and stones can break your bones, but words can never hurt you. And honestly, she can say what she wants, it's boring. I've been hearing it for years, like it's boring. Um, it just bores me, to be honest. But all that matters is in the ring on Saturday night, and that's what you find out, I suppose, um, how serious I take the sport and um, you know, how I box. And, I don't know how, about, how much I deserve this world, world title to be a champion. These are the kind of fights that, you know, I, I know that people in boxing and people that work that you do recognise the work that you put in and yeah. it's a amount of improvement as well. But these are the kind of fights that you will get outside respect, you know, industry respect. I know that it's not something that you crave, but it is nice to have to be recognised as, as an elite world level fighter. Yeah, this I is mean, a serious test. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, I think Shannon, um, uh, Shannon McCormick. My hardest fight, and I'm taking it very seriously. I'm not underestimating it at all. I'm underestimating her at all. Um, I know she's a great fighter, and I know she's going to come ring. She wants it, so no underestimation for me. Um, I've done everything I, we need to do in the gym with Mark and Jimmy, and um, I'm very confident in, in my my skills, my mind, and what I can do. I just know that 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 belt's going to stay with me, and it's my destiny to be a world champion, to continue to be a world champion, and more. So I have faith in myself and my team. And I just know that. Finally, the fight itself should be a, a, a classic. I mean, you don't yeah. have to step backwards as well, nor does she. Is that what you expect from you two? Oh, I hope so. She wants to sit in the ring with me again. Like, you know, amazing. I, mean, I love that. You know, I love those kind of fights. Um, and it's going to be exciting for the fans. You know, I'm all about entertainment. Much people don't like it. Some people don't like it. Like, you know, um, that's what the fans want to see. So, cool. You know, if you want to do that, whatever. But um, I'm just you know, looking forward to having my hand raised. And, Doing fun of Lee, what an atmosphere, it's going to be incredible, I can't wait to walk out um, with all the fans and people, I'm just really looking forward to the night. Yeah, important to, to be able to handle that atmosphere, how yeah. do you think that might affect Shannon on Saturday night, because it is a diff, diff, yeah. different atmosphere and a very loud one. To me, I don't give a fuck, like, I'm not even thinking about how it's going to affect her, I just know that he's going to give me energy, I might do for her as well, that's you good enough, whatever. I'm more focused on me and what I've got to do that night. I'm not really thinking so much about her. Um, you know, I've got to just do what I've got to do and get that win. Well, it's a tremendous fight, the IBF. Bantamweight World Championship, all Australian affair. Ebony Bridges against Shannon O'Connor. We go to the main event now, Josh Warrington against Luis Alberto Lopez. I have to say, poor old Josh Warrington, you know, all of a sudden we're going to America, we're doing this. The IBF put this guy on him. And the problem with this guy is he's a he's a talent. He's a great fighter. To the Leeds hardcore, to the casual fight fan, they might think this is Luis Alberto Lopez who we haven't heard of. To the boxing fans, to the people who know the game and the sport, who know the faith that top rank have in Luis Alberto Lopez, this is a tough, tough fight. But as we always say to Josh Warrington, this is the last one before the unification, before those trips away. But standing in front of him is the very dangerous Luis Alberto Lopez. Luis, welcome. Um, you come with a lot of energy here this week. You look very confident. You're ready for a great fight on Saturday. Bienvenido en primer lugar, Luis. Vienes con mucha energía, con mucha confianza, listo para una buena pelea sábado por la noche. Claro que sí, la verdad es que muy contento por la oportunidad, más que nada, de estar aquí otra vez en Inglaterra, ahora contra el campeón y... No vengo a hacer la excepción, no vengo a dar la guerra que siempre suelo dar y no me voy a ir sin ese título a mi casa, ¿no? 
So yeah, of course, um, first and foremost, thanks for the opportunity. It's great to be here once again, and this time to be facing a champion. This won't be the exception. I always come here uh, as a warrior for war, and I won't be going home without that world title. The atmosphere, I know you're used to some great atmospheres in Mexico, but you've never seen anything like this atmosphere. You're in for a, a, a real treat on Saturday night, but you believe you have everything it takes to become world champion on Saturday. Sí, obviamente has experimentado mucho ambiente en diferentes países, como México, por ejemplo, pero nunca habrás visto un ambiente tan bueno como vas a experimentar el, el sábado por la noche. Aún así, piensas que puedes llevarte el cinturón a la casa. Claro, la verdad es que confío en mis capacidades, confío en mi preparación, siempre estoy bien mentalizado y vengo a hacer lo que siempre vengo a hacer, ¿no? Vengo a hacer la travesura a los oponentes que ya me ponen y, y pues no voy a hacer excepción, ¿no? Vengo a rebasar ese título, sí o sí. Yeah, of course, you know, I come um, full of capabilities. Going on to um, Luis, yeah, he's, um, he's full of confidence in it. No, he's like a fucking kid on Luis. Walking around like Ric Flair. Woo! Woo! You know, he's, he's going to be, uh, you know, full of confidence. You know, so he's just passed out with a few guys over in the States and in Mexico. Island guys. Island guys. And, um, you know, I feel that been in this position all throughout my career. I won't wait to get to it. You know, I wasn't going to win a European champion title. I wasn't going to get a world title. I've always been the underdog. And any fight at this level is always going to be an hard fight. He's got himself into manager position. Um, he's been some decent guys along the way, but I just don't feel that he's mixed in the same level that I've been in with. And it's still an hard fight like me. Um, and it's going to my then. You know, he's obviously he's talks about that spirit. Yes, they can't be the ring with me, but it's a fucking hell of an atmosphere, especially when it comes against you. Um, and just like uh, Eddie said as well, I feed up that ninja, and once I walk out into that ring, I'm not resisting. Do I have to do? Let's keep on that belt. When you talk about your experience now, you know, you see these more inexperienced yeah. fights coming in this energy, and like you say, you, you look at what you've been through, Stadium fights, you know, the defeat behind closed doors, the injuries. You, you've been there, you've seen it, you've done it all. That experience is key at this level. I'm fucking old nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> I was speaking to one of you younger videos. What was it? He was saying, oh, you've always been about you. You've been about as long as I've been watching boxing. It's an hour, this son. You're on 20. Fucking hell. You know, so when we you when you were first doing the ring, she was when I had a beautiful airline, you had less greatest. You know, uh, the hit you could have been just the. Uh, too much power, Joshua, it's like a blood, you know, blood puncher. I really don't know, for me, it's going to come through what I do best, and, uh, and I would leave a bit, you know, to get the runners at night. And finally, 2pm start, break for the England match. Could be the best atmosphere we've seen in the Leeds Arena. When you see young fighters like this, you remember how hungry you were to win that world title. How much does the fire still burn within the heart of Josh Warrington for, for this belt and what lays ahead? It still burns, you know. I always need to be paid. This is one more than once in a couple of the back rooms, and she's already had a bit of a range over, so we're like, these things don't come cheap, and I know that they get paid days come on the you know, unification patch, we're talking some serious stuff. Um, so, listen, the aspiration is to have that upset goal, but, you know, having them away trips and unifying the belts. I've been so close to like, what's happening, and things like pandemic and taking out the ball. Now I'm back in that position. Get to care of Sunday, and then it's a full year, it's a full all time to get what we've always dreamed of. You know, that's the plan of a champion, and like I say, I have that way there. But I'll take the opportunity to say, and I said it the other day on one of the videos, a massive thank you for you know, to those who come along on Sunday night. Obviously, bills are tight, it's one of the time, it's fucking freezing, so the majority of people's bills are going on to go in the heat now. Christmas is around the corner, food is through the roof, prices, but people are still coming out to support. And 
They often come in with a period of prison. When I first started coming through, my support of plans was labelled as casuals. Casuals, casuals are still coming eight, nine, ten years later. Some of them have been coming from the very, the very start. And they haven't missed the fight that we do with them. They'll be there in the stands, singing passionately as always. So I just want to say a massive thank you on that. A massive dispersing help. And when the boys outside, I'll be looking for this inside. Just echoing that, we've had some tremendous nights <laughs> in the Leeds Arena, and I honestly believe that Saturday with the football, this is going to be wild. And this is a tremendous elite fight in the featherweight division. A, a fantastic fight. Josh Warrington against Luis Alberto Lopez for the IBF World Featherweight title. An unbelievable co main event, Ebony Bridges against Shannon Connor. The return of Felix Cash. Great fight between Metcalf and Courtney Pennington. Brandon Dixon, Janae Boston, Hopi Price, Shannon Courtney. Corey O'Reilly and Kobe McNamara and others as well on a huge card on Saturday night. We're going to be in here for the weigh-in tomorrow. This time we'll get more claps because it won't just be the media. The fight fans will be in here tomorrow for the weigh-in and they'll be there on Saturday night, live on the zone all around the world. We're going to have heads to heads up here and we'll see you tomorrow for the weigh-in. Thank you. Let's go.